Hi guys, my name is Victor and welcome to my DIY time channel. Today I'm pretty excited. I've got myself a brand new tool from a company called Ncell. It's a vehicle circuit probe, model number PB100. Right now I have an issue with the ABS circuit in my car, as well as some other minor electrical issues, and I'm hoping to diagnose and fix those problems using this circuit tester. The tool comes in this neat looking cardboard box with the handle on the top. Let's go ahead and open it and see what's inside. And right off the bat we've got this really nice looking compact storage case for the tool and all of the accessories, which I really like. This is definitely going to help keep things organized around the garage. The very first thing we're going to find is the owner's manual. Here you're going to find pretty easy and simple instructions with diagrams and pictures on how to safely and properly use this tool. Next we've got the extension cord for this tool. The circuit tester tool itself with cables attached to it. Next we've got the cigarette lighter adapter. The battery clamps. And once again I'm a really big fan of this nice and neat storage case for this tool. The tool comes with this very long cable that should be enough in most cases if you're working on regular cars or pickup trucks. But if that's not enough, there's also extension cord included here that allows you to work on semi-trucks, trailers or any other long vehicles. There's also a cable with alligator clip for auxiliary ground connection. This will allow you to test resistance on the components outside of the vehicle. You can power up this tool using battery clamps, which is preferred method for several reasons. But if you can't easily access the battery, like with many European cars, you can also use the cigarette lighter adapter. I'm going to start with the cigarette lighter adapter, simply connect it to the circuit tester. You can't really mess it up, it only goes in one way. The LCD screen comes with this protective film on it. The build quality and materials seem to be pretty nice too. As you can tell, this tool looks very nice, and it also feels pretty solid. When you power up the circuit tester, there are two LED lights on top of it that automatically turn on. And this could be a very useful feature when working in darker spaces, such as fuse box under the steering wheel, for example, without having to use a flashlight. This tool has four different test modes, DC voltage, AC voltage, resistance, and diode. In the back of the tool, we're going to find a removable probe tip. All you got to do is take it out and insert it into the hole on top, and the tool is ready to go. Very quick and easy setup. The top of the probe tip is sharp and pointy to allow you to reach into the electrical connectors or poke through wire insulation. And what really makes this tool to stand out when compared to a regular multimeters is the ability to send positive or negative current to the tip of the probe. This feature is going to be very helpful when troubleshooting issues with electrical circuits. Next, let's take a look at several examples of what this tool is capable of doing. First, you can perform a quick self-test on this tool to make sure it's working properly before you start using it. Second, this tool got built-in short circuit protection. It's got automatic circuit breaker and whenever it gets overloaded, it's just gonna shut down and restart. Number three, you can identify voltage and polarity of the circuit. You can find out whether it's a positive or negative ground circuit and check how many volts it's getting. Number four, you can test continuity of the wires and components, whether they are attached to or disconnected from the vehicle. You can also test the resistance of various sensors and ECUs and compare those values to the factory specs.
Next, you can activate and test components in your hands or inside the vehicle by supplying positive or negative circuit to them. Using alternating voltage mode, you can test sensors and signal circuits. You can also use this tool to locate short circuits in your car if you keep getting blown fuses. Alright, as you can see, this is a pretty good useful tool when it comes to troubleshooting electrical issues. And if you would like to learn more how to properly use it, stay tuned. In my upcoming videos, I'm going to show you how to use it to diagnose and fix various electrical problems. If you would like to pick one of those for yourself, I'm going to post a link in the description area below this video. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.